sea monster is a beast from the sea. We're going to capture it, wrestle it, and bring it in land. We want to rehabilitate it. We don't want people to see it as a monster. We want to rehabilitate that concept of what the monster is. Sea Monster is an art installation by New Substance, uh, commissioned by Unboxed where an old topside that has been decommissioned from the North Sea is placed in the Tropicana building in Western Supermare. What we will do with Sea Monster is provoke a conversation around inherited structures, inherited environment and an inherited world that we live in. We have an opportunity to change things and hopefully with Sea Monster we will start that conversation. For Mammoth it's, it's very important and we see a lot of uh, new activities going into, into the energy transition from oil and gas into renewables. So I think it's a, an important uh, showcase point here to make sure that we do the same thing. The Sea Monster project is absolutely a special one and uh, even that I have been a long time with Mammoth this is for me uh, also a completely new uh, kind of operation. It's worthwhile, it's something new, it's something creative, something people have not seen because those oil rigs are producing oil but nobody sees them. And now they can actually see an oil rig but also with the new purpose learn from it and see what it also brings for the future. It's of course a unique piece of art which will be set up here in Weston Supermarkt. And it's really nice to be part of it. Well, New Substance came to, uh, to, to Mammoth uh, also together with the demolishing company that was involved um, and together we, we came up with, uh, with the right plan to, uh, to get this moving. The first question that we, we of course got was, uh, well we have this topside, it needs to come over to Western Supermare, um, how are we going to do it? We flew over to, to do some tests, see if we could uh, actually do a beach landing uh, instead of bringing it over in small pieces. Uh, of course, that, that added up quite a lot to the excitement uh, that it was possible to, uh, to do a beach landing because it's not something you see every day. The challenge of a beach landing operation is always the tide and the environment. In this case, the beach here uh, at Western Supermare is quite favorable because it's, it's completely flat and the slope is only like 2%, so that is perfect condition for a beach landing operation. Another point we had to take into account was the ground bearing capacity of the, of the beach and of course the, the time constraint you have is something you have to be uh, well prepared for and everybody needs to know exactly what is expected from his part of the operation. And, yeah, it's like an orchestra, everybody has to play his part and if that works well then it's a, it's a smooth operation. The size and the, the weight determines the difficulty of the operation, especially for the cranes. The weight is a challenging factor, uh, both for the loading operation in the Netherlands, but also for the installation in Western. For that we use a 750 ton capacity crawler crane to install it to the jacket. What makes the Sea Monster project uh, a very nice project for Mammoth is that all disciplines are combined in one operation. And on top of that, uh, all these disciplines need to perform in a certain time constraint. Uh, for us, uh, I always say uh, nothing is, uh, is impossible. So uh, if there's a structure uh, that needs to move, we can move it. The 
sea monster was in Flushing. That's a harbor town in the south of the Netherlands. We drove it to the quayside where we lifted it with uh, shear legs on a flat top barge. With this barge we sailed around uh, to uh, Western Supermar. The sea monster arrived, the high tide was at 7, so by that time the barge was in position and basically at the same time the SPMT team was already preparing the SPMTs to start driving towards the barge. The company was installing the aluminium road covering plates and what was very nice to see was that at the moment the plates uh, reached the barge. We were at the edge of the barge with the sea monster and good skids on the SPMTs. Driving back to the Tropicana with the, with the sea monster was more or less the easy part of the operation. After this moment where uh, we're still waiting for to lift it into place onto the foundation. So that's, uh, that should be the final step and then our job is done. The lifting operation was relatively straightforward. The rigging uh, needed to be adjusted for the specific center of gravity of this structure, but that is for us normal operation basically. If you look at the technologies we used well, today uh, with the beach landing and the skidding of, uh, of the platform, the SPMTs to drive it uh, onto the beach, uh, plus everything up front and what still needs to happen. Well, of course, we are showcasing uh, the, the complete brochure of, uh, of Mammut, and that's something that uh, not every heavy lift company in, uh, in this industry can do. I was invited by, uh, by a new substance for the opening of Sea Monster. Yeah, it's of course good to, to be back, uh, to see it in, uh, in, in real, uh, totally finished up with all the, uh, the installations that, uh, that were done after we uh, set it down onto its, uh, its pedestal in the uh, Tropicana building. Yeah, it's amazing to see how they uh, actually made a real thing from an animated, uh, animated picture that I saw in, uh, at the beginning. How this was all done, uh, of course, it couldn't have been done uh, without a team effort between, between our, uh, our customer, a New Substance, uh, Unboxed uh, and Mammut. Um, yeah, you, you don't do these things alone. It's something you, uh, you create as a team and uh, you perform as a team. <laughs> 